Welcome to the third module in the course, Character-Based Literacy Basics. In this video, you will learn about the respond phase in the CBL lesson plan. The respond phase is the third in five instructional phases repeated in every lesson plan. These five phases are prepare, read, respond, explore, and extend. Each phase is based on research-based practices. Your goals under the respond phase are to help students visually capture key details such as the progression of events, places, and journeys. Let's begin with developing a timeline. Timelines are a graphic representation of the chronology of events. In this video, I will cover four aspects of timeline development. Co-creating the timeline, use of classroom space, matching plot themes, and representing events and ideas. To co-create a timeline with students, you will need to set rules for what timelines can and cannot be. You may create two outlines and let students choose one and improve on it. You will need to demonstrate the use of headers and images, which can be added as standalone pieces or as part of a larger picture. Create an inspiring artwork that conveys the mood, culture, or topic in the story. Individual students and groups may be responsible for sections of the artwork. Use the walls, ceiling, and floor of the room to create two-dimensional and three-dimensional displays. The artwork can include images of the setting and key characters or visuals that depict the tone, mood, or conflict in the story. It may focus on an ethical theme such as justice. It may depict figurative language from the text. For example, a Mexican blanket is mentioned multiple times in a book and is tied to key themes in the plot. Students research patterns and colors and create a large blanket using construction paper and markers or paints. Then, students add to the timeline within the geometric shapes of the blanket. The selection of the artwork can convey the struggle, moral dilemma, and aspirations of the protagonist. Introducing an outline from day one of teaching creates a foundation for understanding the perspective of the main character. The timeline is the first experiential activity in the CBL lesson plan and the first step towards developing an attitude of perspective taking and understanding of the characters within their context and chain of events. The second activity under the respond phase is creating or adding to a map. Maps help students visualize the location and physical environment in the places described in the book as well as the paths and distances traveled by the main characters. Students may add photos and drawings of places, buildings, or other parts in the physical environment that are discussed in detail in the story. For some books, geographic maps are a useful device for learning, while for others, students can use tables to capture key information. Tables can be used to compare the physical environment of key characters and how it relates to their choices. If time allows and making maps contributes to the purpose of the lesson, students may earn extra points for creating maps. Students may work with pre-made maps to conduct additional searches. For example, use Google Maps to calculate the distance between two locations. In this video, we covered the respond step in the character-based literacy lesson plans. The next module in this course will introduce the fourth phase of the instructional process and discuss students' further exploration and analysis of the text.